Hello, it's Carrie from Scariosities, and today I'll be doing a repaint of my Laguna Fire Monster High doll. I start off by removing the factory paint with pure acetone. I purchased mine at Sally Beauty Supply, but you can also buy um, it at, online or other beauty supply stores. You can also use nail polish remover, but I've, I've done that before and I find it very difficult because it kind of smears the paint and you have to lift it off. Um, so acetone works much better, but the one thing that you have to do is to make sure that you clean the doll with soap and water very quickly after you use the acetone so it doesn't continue to eat away at the vinyl. So before starting the face up, I seal the doll with two or three coats of Mr. Super Clear Sealer. I purchased mine on eBay. I know it's very hard to find and it's very expensive, um, but that's what I use. For this doll, I first airbrushed her with a little bit of blue and then a coat of pearlescent airbrush paint to give her an iridescent look. And then I started in on the eyes. Well, Laguna is one of my very favorite dolls to customize because of her beautiful face sculpt. Thankfully, even though this is a Jennifer Laguna mashup, she mainly has Laguna's features, so I just love, love, love painting this doll. So I wanted to bring a couple of different colors into her eyes to go with the two-tone hair and pink-blue-green combo I did on her body blushing, so her eyes have lots of different colors in them. And I want to mention that the list of the products I used will be in the comment section below, so check that out. Here I'm using a black Faber-Castell watercolor pencil. And my go-to pencil for the white is Prismacolor watercolor pencils. And mine are like down to, totally down to nibs, so you'll probably see that in here as well. Um, but they're really good at laying out that white paint. That's my go-to pencil for white. Remember to create a wide range of darks and lights when you're building up cover, color to give the illusion of depth. So like I said, I'm doing a couple of different colors in the eyes. I'm starting out with the blue here. I'm using the... Um, Derwent Metallics. They went really well with the color scheme. I also just highly recommend those pencils for face-ups. They work really well. You can see the beautiful color they give. When you see me using a paintbrush, I've captured some uh, pastel or soft pastel on a paintbrush and I'm working that in. And then I'll use a Q-tip to blend. So once she's completely dry, I'll add on some eyelashes and some Liquitex Gloss Sealer to the eyes and lips. And before doing the sealer on the lips and adding the eyelashes, I would coat her with a couple of coats, at least three coats of Mr. Super Clear for the final coat, and then do the gloss sealer on the eyes and the eyelashes, making sure that everything's dry in between. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, please. And we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Um, also follow us on our um, Instagram, Twitter, our blog, or all those social media sites to see progress photos and other dirt, nerdy doll stuff. Um, and thanks for watching.